we see here at the Bone Hip Hop. Oh, there's the puppy. Oh, it's the bone. There's the bone. Oh, do you want a biscuit? Huh? Do you want a biscuit? Oh, boy. Oh, there you go. Throw the other one. Throw the other one. Yeah, throw the other one. There you go. Wow. Thank you. Have a good time. See you guys. See you at the bone. Good boy. <laughs> That's a little ritual we do. <laughs> That's excellent. rocks that will eventually be showing itself right in here. You know, it's beautiful. Jeez, I think this. Oh my God, this is incredible. All right, I think what we're going to do is, if I stay on the outside here like I did last week, Henry, why don't you get up on the bow? Bob, this is going to be a good, good guide for you. Is that a yeah, that's a rock. That's a rock popping so. up already, right? Yeah. It's starting to show itself. Like it. yeah. yeah, it's not moving. Right over there. Yeah, there it is, right there. Yep. Yeah. Can imagine how many boats, boats have run over that. Yeah. yeah. There's uh, huge rock piles here. The place is loaded with blackfish, striped bass. Uh, there used to be a stanchion, but what's showing right now, there used to be a stanchion there that stood up and had a, a sign on saying Danger Rock. Mm -hmm. And people would hit the rocks before they could read the sign. Uh -huh. <laughs> you would think something popping out of the water would uh, be yeah, stay away, the, but... When it pops out more, you'll actually see the remains of the pole. Like that uh, guy right there. Wow, yeah. oh, this is beautiful. Jeez, this is like... Hot okay, five. Henry, go ahead. <laughs> now look at, look at my depth sounder. Look at this. Look at the rocks here. Oh, look yeah. how high it comes up. A lot of topography here, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna put it in reverse. See how dangerous this is, and they should have a better buoy than this is here. Yeah. Years ago, they put in that can over there called the LC, the little, just okay. called the little cows in here, because uh -huh. a low okay. tide from a distance looks like the cows gra grazing. Oh, wow. um, very dangerous, very treacherous area here. One of one of the worst areas in Long Island Sound mm -hmm. is right here. The lighthouse is here because the reef comes up from Fairfield Beach, comes across in front of the lighthouse, and ends here. So there's all huge, huge rocks all in this area here. Uh, it's really a cool area. Um, so uh, I'm going to let Bob go in first. And Bob, you could do. What's that? You may get some good shots. Yeah, I hope so. Because I did a few courses with them, you know? Thanks. I gotta chip myself out here. About ready to start the dive. And you see, I have that yellow reel right there um, because I dropped my reel I don't usually drop things but I did so Noel gave me that reel to uh, tie up to the anchor line and on the way down
unfortunately pretty clear so as soon as I got down I just took a quick look around and voila my reel so I was fortunate wasn't that deep. I was expecting to find it, but you never know. Sometimes with the silt or whatnot, but it was a pretty rocky bottom, no silt, so pretty easy to find. Now, from the boat, I'm just heading out towards the buoy and the reef, just to see what you can find hanging out in the reef. Noah was talking about there would be some blackfish and some stripers. You see a few interesting um, things during this trip. So just swimming out in between the boulders and whatnot, coming up to the reef. Definitely interesting to look around or to swim in. Now it's not very deep, but it's uh, a lot to look at. Unfortunately. Since it's not so deep, I'm getting some backscatter with the sun because it's a beautiful day. Some backscatter with the sun off of, you know, a little bit of silt in the water. Although the visibility is very good, but backscatter on my camera. So there goes a, that was a little blackfish over there. So it's, uh, unfortunately it didn't come as clear as I wanted it to come with my GoPro. But not too bad, not too bad. Now, what was sort of interesting, at least on this side of the buoy where I was swimming, look at this size of that starfish. It may be hard to tell <clears throat> the perspective. I try to put my hand over it, but my hand is still, I'm still like almost a foot away from that thing, like six, eight inches away. And it's, it's bigger than my hand. That's a, that's just a cool looking starfish. It's, it's pretty massive. There are a few others you'll see as I go by. That's one big starfish. Yeah, yeah. You see under there, under that rock just in front of me, sort of curled up funky is another starfish just in front of my hand. And he's hanging out in that crevice. At least on the north side of the buoy, there were a ton of starfish. I was looking for a few more blackfish and a few more stripers, which later on in the video you you'll see where I find them. And there's another starfish just hanging out. my signal to myself on the camera that I'm turning around and heading back and as I said I deleted a lot of the in-between stuff um, try to speed it up a little bit to show some of the more interesting parts So 
now just be reeling slowly reeling back in heading back over the top of the reef see how shallow that is you get a boat come by there and it's not paying attention like Noel said it's gonna be a bad day but that reef has its has its reputation Keep on reeling back and check back with no where the other other divers are and where the fish are. I hear you see a few of the other divers. I'm catching up to them. And they're heading now with the with the their instructor doing their qualifications. So I just untie myself on the anchor line. Gonna head back up. Talk to Noel a little bit. So back down I go. <clears throat> Noel uh, told me there were I was on the uh, the north or the shore side of the buoy, and that there were better chance of finding some some fish on the sound side of the buoy. And uh, so I went back down and went out to take another look. Just hooking up back there to the line. If you see, I sort of have a, a leash on my reel, in case you're interested in I'm using reels with diving, but I put that on myself where I got that leash on there, which just allows me to extend the reel out further away and closer towards my body. And off I go to look for some fish. Thank you. 
right here, you see up towards the left top of the screen there, that red, a couple blackfish. Unfortunately, it was, it was much more clear in the water, the backscatter, because we were so close to the surface. There was another one, but with that, that was striper. Pretty soon you see the stripers come by. Had a few blackfish at first that were came one, one way and the other, and then I saw a few stripers come by. Now you'll start to see a few more stripers. I ended up in the middle of a school of schoolies. Some are pretty decent size of stripers off in the distance. But my GoPro was pointed a little more down than than level. But you still see quite a few stripers. There goes one. I can see a few more. to try to settle down a little bit. You see a bunch going one way, bunch going the other. I wish my camera was a little bit more my level because there are quite a few above me too. It was, a, it was a fun place to sit for a few minutes and just watch them all go by. I'm fishing for stripers. I'm not sitting underwater hanging out with them. So it's sort of a unique place to, to sit and watch. So pretty soon it's time to Turn around and start heading back the other way. Saw some blackfish, saw some stripers. Now to try to figure out if there's a... I mean, the GoPro usually, I'm pretty happy with usually, but there's maybe a, a way I can get some better video when I'm, particularly if I'm close to the surface. You can see the, like I said, the the sunlight's coming through there. It's pretty strong. You can get some backscatter, although it's for the sound is very clear, but whatever is it, you know, with the silt and whatnot in the water, the backscatter is making it a little hard to see, a little harder for my camera than it was for me. But I thought it came pretty well, you can see. Sitting in a school of stripers is not something I get to do too often, so it was a lot of fun. So now I'm just Heading back, reeling back in. It was a great day of scuba diving with Orbit Dive Dive Shop and Knoll out on the Long Island Sound, Penfield Reef. And if you uh, want to get out and do the same, just give Knoll a call. But always remember, be, become qualified to scuba dive. Um, dive carefully, dive safe. Uh, see you out there sometime. Uh, in the future, for the rest of this year, it's 2022. Hopefully, Noel can get some advanced boats out. Every now and then, I'll have an advanced go boat go out where it's just certified divers and you can end up diving some of the wrecks in the sound. So, if anybody is uh, has their certified or advanced. Uh, certification, you want to go dive some boats, give Noel a call. The more we can get out there, the more often he can run the boats. Like I said, had a great day 
great dive and safe diving to everybody. It was. I got so many striped bass. I oh, saw the striped bass. There's about, I don't know how many I saw. Really? 50, 60. And they usually go slow past you. <sighs> they don't usually go They're actually well. curious. Yeah. To the left of the buoy, and you're like right in the prime spot yep. of this area. 